So what is it going to take for you to begin to open up these shows in Vegas now? So we are, as we speak, in full rehearsal for those two shows. And uh, we, uh, we are going to open uh, Mister on June 28th and O on uh, July 1st. And we're also the owner of Blue Man Group, uh, which is going to open on June 24th. So what is that experience going to look like for showgoers later this month? Is it going to be as if the pandemic never happened, or are there going to be certain protocols that, that are in place that didn't exist before? Yeah, first of all, as you know, the uh, governor of Nevada uh, has released all the restrictions as, uh, as of today. And uh, therefore, there will be no restriction except <clears throat> that we want to take care of our cast and crew and the audience. So all our cast and crew is going to be vaccinated and we are going to have some sanitary measures to make sure that the audience uh, is, uh, is well taken care. Last week, Live Nation CEO said concert bookings are rebounding. What are you seeing in terms of ticket sales so far? Yes, uh, I'm glad to report that uh, every day we sell the double digit, the number of tickets that we use to sell on normal days. So there is a, a huge momentum right now for people that are looking forward to be deconfined, to go out, to see human performance. And that's what we have to offer, human performance. Yeah. We're all looking forward to that. I wonder, though, Daniel, over these last 15 months, you know, what has the company developed in terms of new businesses, perhaps, or new practices that will stay with you even after you get back to uh, human performances? Yeah, first of all, uh, we had a huge, uh, you know, impact with a new format, a new platform that we developed, which is called Cirque Connect. Uh, we have reached out to about 62 million viewers around the world. So what it says is that there is a market for us uh, outside of just live entertainment. And the other thing we've learned also is uh, digital marketing is going to become more and more important. So right now, with the opening of Vegas and soon the opening of a new show in Orlando at uh, Disney Team Park, uh, we, are, we believe that this momentum is going to bring back the company to where we were before the, cri the crisis. Yeah, speaking of that, I mean, obviously, given the financial ramifications of what you went through, you had to change some things in terms of your capitalization. Just bring our viewers up to date. Who, where are you on that? Are you, uh, you know, are, is everything settled? And who is your main owner at this point, Daniel? Yeah, the good news is, you know, after the crisis, uh, we have been totally supported by our lenders. And there is a group of them, they are the leaders. Uh, it's uh, Catalyst Group and CBAM and Soundpoint. Those three organizations have been the leaders of the group that have decided that they believe in the future of this global brand called Cirque du Soleil, and they are supporting us, not only by making sure uh, that we have a great future, but by infusing 375 million new dollars in order to support our growth moving forward. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.